Kids, it's Mrs. Compton and Chip, and we're back, and hopefully Chip does not bring his yawns today. I feel like he's had a good nap already. All right, so we're going to start off today with a number talk, but this time our number talk is going to have three add-ins. Remember, add-ins are the little numbers here that are getting added together. So today we have three add-ins. So we're going to do six plus 11 plus four. And I want you to hit pause and do your think time. And we're going to think about what the answer to 6 plus 11 plus 4 would be. All right. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. Tell me. What'd you get? Did you say 21? Let's see if I got it. Did you get 21? Did I get 20? I don't even know, kids. Let's find out. All right, so I think I'm gonna take some guesses as to what you did. Chip, what did you do? Chip, did you start with the six and the four? Did you make a 10? He made a friendly 10, I can almost be sure of it. Okay, so I think maybe some of you said, you knew six plus four makes a 10. And then maybe you said, hey, I know that 11 has a 10 in it. So maybe you took out, 10 from here, and you did 10, that 10, plus this 10, made 20, and then you thought, oh, I have one left, so 20 plus 1 equals 21. Did anybody do that? Huh. Chip, what did you think? Did you start with 6 plus 4? I wonder if any of you actually moved the 4 in the, in the equation. Did anybody think, well, let me write, finish my equation right there. Did anybody think about actually moving the four? So maybe you did six plus four plus 11. And I'm gonna put a little hug around this. That just means we're doing that part first. Did anybody think about doing the six and the four first? Because then you would have a 10 right there, right? Does it change the answer if we move the four? to a different spot, does it change the answer in an addition equation? What do you think, Chip? Yes or no? He says, no, it doesn't change it, but let's find out for sure. So that would be 10, and then maybe you have that 10 plus one more, or maybe you just thought you knew 10 plus 11 is 21. So everything is equaling 21. Okay, let's find out our next one. Are you gonna do it, Chip? He didn't yawn, he's being good. Okay, so we're gonna keep up on our no yawning track here. Here we go. Let's find out if we had eight plus five plus 12, what would you get? All right, everybody, hit pause, do your think time. Eight plus five plus 12. On the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Tell me. Did you say 25? You didn't have enough fingers and toes to count on. I know that for sure. All right, so maybe you did eight plus two first. So maybe you pulled the two out of here and you joined eight plus two is 10. And then maybe you did plus that 10. 10 plus 10 equals 20. And then we have five left, so 20 plus that five is 25. I'm gonna guess that some of you took another step though. I wanna, tell, I wanna see, can you tell me in the comments if you did do this? Some of you may have done eight plus five plus 12, and you just decided to go ahead and do eight plus 12 because you knew you had a 10, and eight plus two makes another 10, so maybe you just knew it was gonna be 20. And 20 plus that five would make 25. All of those ways work, right? Okay, you guys, I'm super excited because we are not saying hello to one person. We are not saying hello to two people. We are saying hello to three people from Mrs. Olson's classic Grandview. Hi, Mrs. Olson. Can't wait to see who we're going to read about. Okay, are you ready, Chip? 
Chip, are you ready? Are you ready? Chip, it's time to focus. You Okay, there we go. Good boy. All right, so here we go. We're going to find out from Mrs. Olson's class. We are saying hello to Vincent, Vander, and Lillian. Hi, Vincent, Vander, and Lillian. I wish I could see you guys, but we say hello anyway. All right, so we're going to read all about math games. You know, when we were in class together, we always played math games, right? So I'm going to just cover our number sets. So here we go. Vincent, Vander, and Lillian were playing a math game. Read it with me. Vincent, Vander, and Lillian were playing a math game. Vincent had hmm points. Vander had hmm points. And Lillian had hmm points. How many points did they have all together? All right, so we know Vincent scored a certain number of points. We know Vander scored a certain number of points, and we know Lillian scored a certain number of points. We have to figure out how much they had all together. All right, does everybody have the picture in their mind? Chip, do you have the picture? It's very important. Okay, I think he's making the picture now. Okay, let's see our numbers. Are you ready? Let's see. We've got, whoa, I'm ripping it. Six, 11, and four. Six, 21, and 34. Or, I think you could see that, yeah. 36, 41, and 44 are your just right number sets. Don't forget, it's just right if it's not too easy and not too hard, right? You wanna have a little brain stretch. All right, check this out. Let's read it together. Bye, Chip, gonna put you down for this part. Let's see if we put six, 11, and four in there. We could read it, Vincent had six points, Vander had 11 points, and Lillian had four points, right? So we're trying to figure out how many points they had all together. All right, it's your turn to solve, kids. Go grab your paper and your pencil and talk to your teacher. See you soon. Bye.